Jaden, a big welcome to Leighton Orient. You joined the club on loan for the season. Can you sum up your feelings? Yeah, I'm really excited. Can't wait to get going. Just want to kind of get my name out there, show people what I'm about and get a lot of goals. Let's kind of start from the beginning of you because you come into the Woking side at a very young age. Um, I think it was, you were 16 um, around the time you kind of broke into the team and um, your mum was telling me you were the youngest ever National League goal scorer. So talk to me about that experience breaking through at such a young age. Yeah, I mean, started, like you said, 16 and coming into this, like that sort of environment from coming at the back end of being released from a professional club was difficult. Um, I wanted to go in there and my aim is to get as high as possible level wise. And I started off in the academy, put my trust in the management and they put the trust in me and they gave me the chances in the academy and said, look, if you do well here, I'm sure that the manager will see this and push you into the first team. So I did that, I spent six months in the academy. I played 30 games ish and scored, I think it was 29 goals, which was for me, it was great. And the manager clocked that and said, look, we need him in, see what he's about. Hopefully he can help us in the league. Then I got my debut and it all happened so fast, which was, um, it was on New Year's, New Year's Eve. Um, I got a call saying, you're gonna make your debut tomorrow, be ready. And for me to hear that, I was, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited for the next day. Then it came around so fast and then yeah, I made my debut, everything happened so fast. And then after that, I did well and I only got eight minutes, but the eight minutes that I came on for, I did really well. And then from then on, manager trusted me and I started training regular and it just went from there really. Mm. Talk about your time in the academy there as well. We, we saw you in the youth cup. Um, it was a bit of an exciting game, Orient uh, yeah. woke in. Um, memory, memories of that game? Uh, yeah, there was. it was a cold, rainy night. <laughs> um, it was good because we went, kind of went in there not much pressure on us, it was just do what you can. Again, it was a professional club we were coming up against. Us being non-league woke, it was difficult, um, but we all stuck together, got the, got the result that we needed, but it was a very good, great night. It was a long night, it went all the way to added minutes, but that's what happens in football sometimes, so. Yeah, and then for yourself, obviously on the back of going into Woking, obviously you did really well, got the chance to go in on trial at Chelsea and, and um, sign there. So tell us a bit about that experience first going into Chelsea and then, and then how you found it since you've been there? Yeah, so um, I scored to the, at the last appearance that I made. I came on for half an hour against Kings Lynn for Woking. And after that game, I then got a call. Uh, well, my dad got a call from my agent saying that Chelsea were really interested and they're going to keep tabs on you. And it all happened in a matter of a few days. I then went in there about two days later after that game and I went in for a six week trial. And going in there again, I was really nervous. Um, just had to kind of prove myself again and get that get that contract. But I always thought I've got to make it to the end of the six weeks, show what I'm about. If I get a game, try and score in the games. And for me, it was all about the goals. So I kind of went in there and just guns blazing. I thought I've got to show people what I'm about and get that contract. And that's kind of what I did. Mm. And looking at your record as well, you seem to have scored a fair few goals since you've been in there. Yeah. So last season. Um, it was a bit difficult uh, back end of the season. We started off quite well, got in results, and then the manager was trusting me. First few months, he I was on finding myself on the bench, but again, it's all a mental kind of thing. You got to stay focused, you got to stay humble, got to keep going, keep your head up, uh, and that's what I did. Then I got my chance, I scored, and from then on, kind of kick started till the end of the season, and we stayed up from some of the crucial goals from myself and from others, um, and then yeah, I ended up being top goal scorer for that season so I was really happy with that. Brilliant and the chance for you to train with the first team as well which must have been a bit of a pinch yourself moment. Yeah so when Covid was quite quite strong it was at the high end of it um, it was around Christmas time last year and um, the likes of Lukaku, Jorginho, players like that were all out with Covid so it gave us young boys an opportunity to come in and show ourselves get an opportunity to then make our debut. I spent two weeks I think uh, training got to meet the manager Thomas Tuka which is a great guy um, really like brought us all in um, and all the other guys were really respectful to us didn't just kind of hide us away and brush us under the carpet because we were just young kids they really brought us in welcomed us and then I felt at home straight away and a week in I started feeling normal and then after it came to the decision for the game they all came back which is annoying but to train with the likes of some of them players like World Cup winners Champions League winners the likes of Thiago Silva it's just mental. So it was a really good experience for myself. Absolutely. So for yourself, obviously you're, you're at a stage now where you played some Papa John's Trophy games for Chelsea under 21s and you kind of wanted to get yourself out of there playing men's football again. So why in particular was Orient the one that kind of made sense to you? So 
there was a couple of options and I said to myself I spoke to the manager uh, last night and he sounded really positive about what what was coming and for myself and I just kind of want to get my name out there I've come from non-league so I want to show to people young young kids especially like don't give up like especially like myself I came from low all the way up I'm just kind of proving myself and getting my name out there to get right to the top hopefully mm. so obviously Orient doing very well at the moment top of the league and um to be you know like Charlie Calm in, in good form but hearing you speak you know thinking about your experiences at Woken I'm sure you back yourself to try and get into that team absolutely yeah I, I, have, I have goals written all over me I've I'm positive I'm confident and I know that I'll help to keep to keep that stand of being first at the moment and I'm sure that my experience from where I've come from will help the team massively and I hope to score a lot of goals here and get a lot of points on the board so yeah I'm excited